Hello again there, YouTube fans. This is the real creepy doll man here. I'm back with an all-new episode. It is July the 18th of 2018. Time is now 2, 17 a.m. Okay, I'm sorry and apologize that I didn't release this episode a little bit earlier. But I'm going to let you know that I got these at a thrift store today. Yesterday, be correct. On July the 17th of 2018. Uh, probably after 2 or 3 o'clock in the late in the afternoon. Um, now, today's topic is on these three dolls. Numbers 228, numbers 229, and numbers 230. Now, all you YouTube fans and all you Die Hard Real Creepy Doll Man fans from around the world would like to know. Are they all cursed, haunted, or possessed? Nobody truly knows, and not including the creepy doll man himself, truly knows as well. So the only way to sell it is to do the old-fashioned way about you communicating with our spirit friends, part 11 and beyond. If I can ever get Creepy Ghost Hunter Jr. back, that's my promise. But when he comes back, he will no longer be called Creepy Ghost Hunter Jr. He will be called the real Creepy Ghost Hunter Jr. That will spice it up for this episode. Now, I'm going to go back around the room and quickly show you my lovelies again here in just a few seconds. But I'm going to explain that I got these yesterday at a thrift store. I had to borrow a little money to get these ordeal. Now, the tallest one is actually a porcelain doll. And this is the tall one. This one only ran $1.99. And it had no tag on it. So they, she only the lady behind the, the cash register only charged me $1.99 for this one. The next one to that, I wanted to show. This is also before I go to the, the next one. That this is actually for Christmas. So this one would be more considered a Christmas thing. And it's, she's got like the, the, you know, the mistletoe here and the holly. And it looks really nice. And the next, this one. Uh, she kind of resembles. I got another Barbie because I wanted this one because she kind of resembles a little bit like Beyonce. And it does resemble a little bit like Beyonce, the singer. And you don't know who Beyonce is. She used to sing with Destiny's Child. And it's been a long time since a lot of people heard about that. And I found this one. I passed it by once and I didn't decide to get it. And I got it later when I came back around. And I found something else interesting. That this one is a true knockoff of a Cabbage Patch doll. But this is one, it's not a head alone. I'll let you know why. This is not just the head. Uh, as you can see, that this is actually a kit. Now, what that, what's that in there? That's the body part that you have to stuff. And this is the kit. you got to buy the accessories with it. I have at least two out of four of the accessories. The only things I need are the stuff to stuff it with, and I have to get uh, polyester, or maybe cotton, but polyester is the best material because it's like cotton, and it will hold up a lot longer than cotton will ever hold up. And another thing, thing I need is a zip tie to tie around the neck of this area here to tie off the body once I finish, you know, stuffing it's right up in here. And I'm going to do a lot of things to this. And I'm going to explain what I'm going to do with this. Okay, you see the ears. That I didn't like the shape of the ears when I saw this. It makes it look more like an elf instead. But, you know, I'm going to alter this. And make it look more like um, Vulcan ears. So what I will do if I decided to go to a star, uh, go to either a Star Trek convention or a sci-fi convention, I'm going to alter these ears to look like a Vulcan, and I'm going to dedicate it to Leonard Nimoy, who did, uh, which died. He died a few years back. Who played Mr. Spock on the original TV series of uh, Star Trek, and also in all the movies he appeared in. And he did make uh, get uh, he did make one I think appearance in the Star Trek Generation uh, as Ambassador Spock, and he appeared in other movies too. And I'm gonna explain what other movies he played in. He also did the, the original Invasion of the Body Snatchers as I think he was a therapist, and then 
his voice was more famous for this one movie, which is a cartoon, which is Transformers, the car, uh, Transformers the movie, which was an animated movie, and he appeared as the voice of Galvatron. Now you don't know who Leonard Nimoy is. Leonard Nimoy is very famous to this day. So I'm gonna try to do a retro look with his outfit, but alter it to be a female's in his collar. And also add the boots and make it a skirt to make it a female look to it. And dedicate this one as a Vulcan look to Len the late Leonard Nimoy, the who played Mr. Spock in the TV series uh, Star Trek. But remember, he played in other movies as well and probably other TV series. But he's made a lot of guest appearance on other shows too. And there you have it. Oh yeah, another thing about the last one here. I will let you know when I begin to do work on this kit because I will show it either I will show it not live, but I'm going to show it step by step how I'm building the thing as I record it and I'm going to release it piece by piece. It'll probably take me a couple days to do this project. I may need to get help to do the outfit, but I'll do the body and all that. The more difficult task is do the fingers and the toes. And either I, I also had to find a way to make a belly button, and I had to make a butt for the doll to make it look, you know, like what a butt would look. Meaning, make a, a rear end for her to make it look like how the other uh, Cabbage Patch are. Now, these are knockoffs. I think this would look more similar like the very first Cabbage Patch that came out that was made only in plush and not in vinyl. The vinyl heads didn't come out to the 80s, but I think they came out the late 70s with the, the plush. They were all plush, and it had the yarn hair. Now this is sort of, you know, imitating the, the plush look, but this is actually a knockoff, and I have the real one right here. Now, you've seen this one. Uh, you've seen her in one of my episodes that I release her. This is Mariah the Haunted Doll. Now, Mariah is appeared in one of my episodes. This is a real Cabbage Patch. Let me show you real fast before I cut this off. She has the Cabbage Patch logo on the back of the butt cheek right here. And it's uh, got a limpet. Kids, this is actually a real Cabbage Patch. It's made by, I think his name is Xavier, I think. I don't know what the last name it was. And this came out in 1996. Now this is a sort of a smaller version or medium-sized doll. My mother has the original bigger doll than this. It's a much larger doll. She has a larger doll that Sissy gave her before she died. And it, I can show you real fast where it's at. I keep it in the same room because... It's over here. It's a much larger doll. And I'll show you to you real fast. There it is. That's the larger version of this doll. And I have at least four Cabbage Patch compared to her. She only has two. She has a small and a large one. I have a couple medium sized ones. And I got a knockoff. So I have four Cabbage Patch. Four real Cabbage Patch kids. With the yarn hair, two of them with the corn silk, corn silk hair, or you can call it the nylon hair. And this one is actually a knockoff, but they keep the vibe of the original look to the, the hair. So please check out my episodes that come for The Real Creepy Doll Man, because The Real Creepy Doll Man says this. There will be new episodes to come, and keep your eyes out what I have next in store for you all. So this is The Real Creepy Doll Man saying goodbye. And God bless you all.